Every December, Santa Claus comes out and gives presents to good children around the world. But according to some myths, children who have misbehaved are instead visited by a more frightening creature, Krampus. But who is Krampus? Where do these myths come from? And why does Krampus appear around Christmas time? Please subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section below on what topic you would like to hear about. A man by the name of Nicholas was born in the city of Petara, Lycia, in or around 270 AD, who became a bishop as a young man. He became locally famous for his charity work by paying the dowries of girls from poor families, and was also well known for leaving coins or other treats in the shoes of local children. It is also said he had a small orphan boy working as his little helper. Nicholas died on the 6th of December in the year of 343, and was shortly thereafter canonized as the patron saint of children as Saint Nicholas. People honoured him each year with a feast on the 6th of December and carried on the tradition of leaving gifts in children's shoes. In the 4th century, church officials decided to institute the birth of Jesus as a holiday. Unfortunately, the Bible does not mention a date for his birth and so Pope Julius I chose December 25th. It is commonly believed that the church chose this date in an effort to adopt and absorb the traditions of the pagan Saturnalia festival. During the centuries, this custom spread throughout Europe countries. Those celebrating Christmas Day evolved Saint Nicholas into Santa Claus and used the gift-giving customs to well-behaved children to combine with Christmas Day. You might wonder what happened to the naughty children. It wasn't enough that they simply should not get a reward in a form of a gift from Saint Nicholas, or now known as Santa. But there was a legend that put the fear in children to be good that is still told to this day. Krampus, in Central European popular legend, is a half-goat, half-demon monster that punishes misbehaving children at Christmas time. He is the devilish companion of Saint Nicholas and is believed to have originated in Germany. His name originates from the German word Krampen, which means claw. Krampus was thought to have been a part of a pagan ritual for the winter solstice. According to legend, he is the son of Hal, the Norse god of the underworld. With the spread of Christianity, Krampus became associated with Christmas, despite the efforts of the Catholic Church to ban him. The creature and Saint Nicholas are said to arrive on the evening of the 5th of December, which was known as Krampusnacht or Krampus Night. While Saint Nicholas rewards nice children by leaving them presents, Krampus beats those who are naughty with branches and sticks. In some cases, he is said to eat them or take them to hell. On the 6th of December, known as Saint Nicholas Day, children awaken to find their gifts or to nurse their injuries. We always need to take folklore and pagan traditions with a pinch of salt. But what do you think about the legend of Krampus? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Please subscribe and thank you so much for watching.